Hi. We make today a video about our temperature and vibration um, machines that we bought in December. Took a little bit time to have a video, but um, I just returned from the tour in Germany. You can have also a look on our city tour. We were on several fairs, and but now it's time to, to um, go through our um, machines. We have later a little bit theory about why we need a temperature room or a temperature chamber, why we do vibration machines. And you see here now we are with 40, 40 degrees minus, and we have a look how our systems work for sure. First, you have to get everything cooled down to minus 40 degree. It doesn't make sense that they are running and go up to minus 40 degree. And let's connect the power and see what our systems are doing under minus 40 degree. We have as an example our new embedded board, which you see here in the case. We have our 10 inch touch monitor, we have our PC, and we have in the back a 15 inch touch monitor. And you see the um, network board starts at min minus 40 degrees, our um, 10 inch touch screen monitor starts at minus 40 degrees, and even our 10 inch touch screen PC, it's all standard productions to taken out of the production starting up. Our 15 inch touch monitor doesn't start up, that's too cold for him but that's also not what we specified. And I must say that really makes us quite proud about them. You see also what our systems do under the vibration machine. They are really rugged and they are really surviving under the harshest conditions and that's already our standard models. Okay, let's talk a little bit about um, the theory. And it's, it's really called um, the, the bus tube um, effect, that's no joke. We have uh, time and we have uh, defect. And when you look on how, how a product um, um, over the lifetime um, goes with the defect, it's really like this. You have at the beginning um, some, some, some higher defect rate because of um, the parts which were not properly assembled, problems in the production. It's really in every product like this. Then you have a long um, period where you just have um, um, defects happening by, by chance. And then over the time, you have the second um, effect where for sure the systems, uh, the products, um, we are out and, and go defected over time. And uh, with the temperature room, with the vibration machine, we, we make secure that these defects don't happen in our products. That means then when, when they are um, chipped, you have a um, low, low defect rate over um, a lifetime in, in your usage, in your factory. And for sure over time, um, it, it goes and... Um, Hi guys, so we are now at minus 25 degrees, the PC is running well, the embedded board is running well, and let's see what our 15 inch touchscreen monitor is doing, he's coming, and even that we just specify officially a temperature at around 0 degrees working, it's even powers on it, have a look at 26 degrees, we have just a standard background picture, but I feel like this is quite quite impressive and let's go for the higher temperatures how our products work at even things like 70 degrees plus see you soon okay let's have a look on our vibration machine which we also um, bought uh, last year in December and um, together with the um, temperature chamber it's really um, a big improvement to, to help um, getting all the problems out of our systems this is now Around 5G or 6G, and this machine is already running for 45 minutes like this. And to give you getting that how bad is just push it. Just push this one on it. And it's really nothing you want to stand or you want to stand on. And you don't, don't get it off. So we, we use it for. Um, um, regular tests from our um, standard production as well as we uh, do it with um, samples or first um, um, engineering samples, prototypes we, we do for customers and we really make sure that it um, survives the hardest environment like this, uh, it will never be working in a, in a normal world. And we, we put it two to three hours on it uh, like, like that to really make sure that Whatever is loose inside or could break inside, it's um, tested that it will not happen. Because when it survives the vibration like this, it survives every harsh environment. 
So let's make a short update. We are now um, going from minus 25. We are already at uh, plus 30. And you see here now um, we go with the humidity also to 95 at the end, which is quite almost like uh, yeah, you, you have uh, just water in the air. Under minus degrees it's not possible to have a humidity, but for sure um, when, when you are on uh, higher temperatures you can. And just look how much water now is on the system's condensation water. Uh, I get myself amazed that the systems run, but that's what our systems are doing. Quite proud on it. And let's see how even our touch PC, if it works at 70 degrees or not. Let's have a look. Okay, you see we reach now around 65 degrees, 60 percent humidity and yeah it seems like the systems are in a quite good condition <laughs> even that they come from minus 40 ramping up to um, plus 60 and we, we keep them running a little bit more what I can tell you now is or we, I think we can come to a finish it's um, even our um, touch PCs run at 70 degrees operation temperature, not just operation temperature, but um, outside temperature. So the, um, the temperature inside the systems you can add 10 to 15 degrees, even goes up to 85, 90 degrees, and still surviving. So that's what we are doing. We do systems for industrial applications, harsh environments, and with our temperature chamber with our vibration machines we really make secure that's all well tested and that you get the product you want industrial products for the best price competition range you get in the market that's from Fatex thanks for looking and see you for the next video